Hi there and uh, welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this video we are going to uh, talk about how to work on paper. So the idea is about how you can uh, make uh, this uh, dashboard uh, yours. So in fact the big idea uh, behind working on paper is the following one is that you need to isolate yourself in order to think about uh, what you would like to make in terms of data visualization. If you start uh, to work uh, straight away in front of your computer, what's going to happen is that uh, you're going to get a lot of distractions uh, coming from the screen first, but as well uh, coming from your smartphone, coming from social networks, news, and any other email tax, uh, email task which may come through your uh, email box. So my best piece of advice is you take a pen, you take a piece of paper, and you start uh, to design what uh, would look like uh, the perfect dashboard. So most of the time it starts uh, with a title uh, that you need to make uh, explicit. And uh, most of the time this uh, given title is in fact what, um, what are your main goals. So you clearly need to say something like, okay, my goal for this given Areas so and you need to uh, make it in, in a timely manner. Uh, and then um, there are several ways that you can do a dashboard. In my case, I really like to set, uh, let's say, the expectations. Okay, so that's um, where I want to go. Uh, results are, in fact, so this is everything that I got within this column, uh, is everything which is about uh, the current state of my, um, of my platform. And uh, within the column, which is over here, what I like to put is what are the actions. So the actions are uh, based on the figures that I got uh, over here. And of course, based on my expectations, what I should do. So let's imagine, for example, for the first line, my expectation was to have for my platform at least 10 active courses. And uh, I'm already at the end of uh, the first uh, uh, quarter of 2020 and I'm already have uh, nine active uh, courses on. So the thing is I'm well in advance. So as I'm well in advance, I should uh, start uh, to stop uh, my uh, creating uh, learning courses and I will I should start to put more effort into uh, something else. And in fact, uh, same thing over here. I have uh, my expectation was to have at least uh, one student. I in fact, uh, got more than 60 and uh, now I made a mistake because I did not expect uh, to get that many students so as a result as my platform is not uh, yet uh, let's say beautiful and well suited to uh, accept so many people I need of course uh, to put more effort into uh, the platform itself so I should definitely uh, stop writing content courses and really start to optimize my platform in order to make it suitable for uh, 60 uh, registered students. And that's uh, th that's what you need to have actually. You need to clearly uh, isolate yourself because all those uh, given indicators that you can see here and there um, actually are just coming uh, from a brain analysis and this brain analysis cannot really be made in front of a screen. But once uh, you have all this uh, part finished, uh, what you can do is that uh, you can move back on your data visualization uh, software platform such as Metabase and start uh, to design um, your, uh, your dashboard. So typically here it will be about editing the dashboard and just picking out the different elements uh, that you want. And for example, here in my case, it will be like my uh, Moodle expectation. So I, we just have to write something like uh, Moodle expectation, expectations. Okay, and then I can uh, I can change that a little bit in order to uh, make it centered and down and uh, visualize. Okay, with the expectations, and then I can uh, start with my first column. Then I will draw my second column, then my third column, and then I will make the integration uh, by asking question in order to uh, just uh, link the database and to just insert the uh, the figured number that I expect here, but. All this work needs to be made after uh, you already start to work on paper and get uh, your final uh, your, your final expectation uh, well drawn. And that's it for today. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.